<laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Welcome to my review of Muppets Christmas Carol. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the whole video like this. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Geetry64. My name is Charles Dickens. You don't look like a Dickens. No, a blue furry Charles Dickens who hangs out with a rat. I don't think I want apples that have been chewed on by a rat. Hey, I'm creating scarcity. Drives the prices up. <sighs> I'm here to review Muppets Christmas Carol. It's a good beginning. It's creepy and kind of woohoo, spooky. Thanks, I've been working on that. What was that? It's called the medium sketch. The medium sketch? Yeah, it wasn't rare and it certainly wasn't well done. <laughs> Hi guys, Gidru64 here and today we are talking Muppets. Uh, you may ask why out of all of the Christmas carols am I picking the Muppets? And the short answer is it's the best one. Obviously. <laughs> there are more than 25 Christmas Carol adaptions. I particularly love the 1951 Alistair Sims version, the 1984 George C. Scott version, and the 1999 Patrick Stewart version. The Muppets may be an odd pick for some for the best Christmas Carol, but I've always loved this version the best. It has an amazing poster by the greatest poster artist of all time, Drew Struzan, a legend giving even more credence to just how awesome Muppets Christmas Carol is. This movie has both heart and humor. I love that uh, Gonzo and Rizzo are the narrators, not only providing uh, classic Christmas Carol lines, but also providing levity and humor throughout. They are straight fire. Hey, 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 light the lamp, not the rat, light the lamp, not the rat! My what apologies. Are you doing? Put uh, me out, put me out, um, put me out, put me out, put me out, put me out, Rizzo! What? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, particularly care for uh, musicals. There are some that I enjoy, but on the whole, I don't really like them. Uh, but I love the songs in this movie. Uh, there goes Mr. Humbug. There goes Mr. Grimm. Great song. Uh, One More Sleep Till Christmas. It Feels Like Christmas. And Double Your Marley's with Marley and Marley. Great memorable songs throughout this movie. Now, I have two versions of the movie here, which is the VHS <laughs> with that good old clamshell box and the Blu-ray. Now, these are actually two different movies, and I'll explain why. If you look at the back of the box, you can see two different run times, with 89 minutes for the VHS and 86 minutes for the Blu-ray. There is a complete song on the VHS that was not in the theatrical release, the DVD release, the Blu-ray release, and it's also not currently streaming on the Disney Plus version, although I believe that there's a special feature that actually does include this song. It's not actually in the movie that's streaming on Disney Plus at the time. That song is called When Love Is Gone, and it is sung by Belle, who is uh, Scrooge's girlfriend. It's sung by Belle after the relationship with Scrooge has ended. Now, per director Brian Henson, the song was removed by the studio due to kids losing interest in test screenings. And as a kid watching the movie, I usually fast forwarded through the song, so I can certainly see why uh, the song was removed from all the other releases to appeal more to kids, because I fast forwarded through it as a kid, so I get why that would do that. Appealing to kids is kind of what the Muppets are, so it certainly makes sense. Uh, but the song is actually very nice, and it does a lot for Scrooge's story in the movie. Uh, it's a very emotional scene, and I grew up with that song in the movie because I grew up having uh, this VHS, and it's just weird watching it with that scene completely cut out because it, it is an emotional scene. One of the things I always find fun about watching the different versions of A Christmas Carol is how the ghosts are portrayed, uh, past, present, future. They're all portrayed in different ways in different movies. Well, the ghost of Christmas present is always portrayed more like this. Come in and know me, Batman. <laughs> And the ghost of Christmas future is usually portrayed like a Nazgul from Lord of the Rings. A quiet Grim Reaper type, which is very appropriate, I guess. <laughs> but the ghost of Christmas past has always been portrayed in very different ways. It's been portrayed by like an angel type, uh, a, a woman, a, a pale man, a, a candle, a little flame, <laughs> a uh, young boy in some versions. Or, in the case of uh, Muppet's Christmas Carol, it looked like this. 
a small creepy Muppet looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost died in the Uncanny Valley. Looking like a shrunken albino head struggling to escape our plane of existence. Looking like a Cabbage Patch kid went unsold in the 80s and was ravaged by the sun for four decades. <laughs> Regardless, the choice to not make any of the ghost actual Muppets characters was a great one since it would uh, have eliminated a lot of the seriousness of Scrooge's journey throughout this and Michael Caine being the straight man. Yeah, uh, I'm glad they didn't make Muppets ghosts in this. They just went with these different versions, these all original kind of ghosts outside of Marley and Marley because that was a great choice. Always go for the double Marley and Marleys. <laughs> and as I said, Michael Caine is great and this his scrooge could easily be put in any uh version of christmas carol and fit in he like i said he is the straight man in the film he's the one who gives it weight and emotion i think that's what makes this movie work so well it's the muppets flavor it blended so well with the classic story it's like lightning in a bottle you got kermit as uh bob cratchit uh, which works amazingly well it's a great choice obviously not only because kermit is the face of muppets but he fits that character. Fozzie as Fezziwig, he was born to play that character. Right? <laughs> he literally created him for that character. The lighthearted humor the Muppets give um, as all these supporting characters is what keeps it light, fun, and comedic and gives this movie such flavor. I'm gonna just say that this is actually my favorite Muppets movie, which is saying a lot because I am a big Muppets fan. I really like Muppets Treasure Island. I like the 2011 Muppets movie and the classic 79 Muppets movie. I even own the first season of Muppets on DVD. I own it and I've watched it. <laughs> I met Steve Whitmire who took over the voice and puppeteering for Kermit after Jim Henson's passing. Steve was a really cool dude. I got to talk to him for a good 15 minutes. I mentioned that this was in fact my number one Muppets movie and just thanked them for being a part of it. I grew up on this version of A Christmas Carol, and every time I watch it, I'm transported back to the 90s. That's what I love about movies. They have that ability to transport you back in time to the, your happy place. It's like a DeLorean hitting 88 miles an hour, taking you back in time. But instead of a cool car, you got uh, little boxes you can pull off the shelf and uh, optical discs you can put in your player. <laughs> The best Christmas movies have that ability to remind you of what it's like to be a kid at Christmas and Muppets Christmas Carol nails this with flying colors. Thank you all for checking out my review. If you were interested in seeing more reviews, please hit that like button. Let me know. Uh, I, I stopped reviews for various reasons, but it's a Christmas season and I really wanted to do some Christmas movies. Merry Christmas to everybody, by the way. Uh, do you guys remember Muppets Christmas Carol? And uh, do you have really fun memories of it like I do? Comment and let me know. Um, and uh, I am working on a jingle all the way that came in second in the Muppets Christmas Carol poll. So I'm going to try and get that uh, review done. And that way you'll be having two Christmas reviews on the channel uh, for Christmas. So hopefully I can get that done and get that out to you. I actually have a little turbo man underneath the tree for, for keen viewers, which may or may not make it into a skit for jingle all the way that I'm actually working on right this minute. Well, not right this minute because I'm filming this review, but... After I film this review, I'm gonna gonna work on that. But <laughs> anyway, uh, I just want to thank everybody for checking out this video. Thank you, subscribers, because you guys are awesome. Thank you again to everybody who voted in the poll. And if you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, or don't. I'm not a beggar. I'm G264, and I always tell you the truth.